I made $9,000 in profit last month flipping used iPhones on Facebook Marketplace. Believe it or not, I did it starting out with only $1,000 and within one month, I was able to turn that $1,000 into $10,000. If you don't believe me, I actually documented and posted the entire thing here on my YouTube channel. That being said, since I posted that series, there is quite a bit of new faces here. So I wanted to go ahead and make a video breaking down exactly how this business works. I'm actually gonna be going out, buying some phones and flipping those phones for a profit, all while trying tracking absolutely everything from how long it takes, how far we drive to get the phones, all the way down to how much we would spend in gas to physically buy the phones. And then I'm actually gonna be going ahead and selling the phones and breaking down how much profit we made in more detail than I ever have before. All right, so if you're completely new to this channel and you have no idea what phone flipping is, in the simplest way to describe it, pretty much what we're doing is we're going on Facebook Marketplace or a platform similar to that, and we're buying phones for a good price, that we're taking those phones and reselling them for a profit. Believe it or not, that's actually a very repeatable process that you can consistently do every single day to make some pretty good money. Pretty much everyone has an iPhone and there's no shortage of people who are upgrading and selling their phones on platforms like Facebook every single day, but not necessarily everyone who is selling their phone is looking for the maximum amount of money for their phone. There is plenty of people every single day who are listing their phones below market value that are more than happy to sell their phone below market value if it means that it's a simple and easy transaction and they don't have to deal with the headaches that we all know happen on Facebook Marketplace, which is where we come in. If you can learn your market and understand what a good deal is, as well as what a phone can sell for, you can very consistently get great prices on used iPhones. Then if you take that phone, take some better pictures of it, write a good description, add a charger maybe, and you just make a much better listing that makes that same phone seem much more appealing, and you're willing to wait for a buyer to come along who's willing to pay you what market value is, you can very consistently make a good amount of profit buying and selling these phones. All right, so as promised, I'm not just gonna sit here the whole video and talk about how this business works. I'm actually gonna go out, buy some phones and show you guys this business in action. So our first step was to go on Facebook Marketplace and try and find some phones that we could flip. I use Facebook Marketplace, but you could use whatever you have access to. If you have Craigslist, Kijiji, OfferUp, whatever is in your area, you could use that. It doesn't really matter what platform you use to find the phones. This is usually where a lot of people run into their first issue when they try this for themselves. A lot of people will see me searching Facebook Marketplace and assume that they could just go on Facebook for like five minutes and find a good deal right away. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. If it was that easy, then that would just be the price for phones. It wouldn't really make sense for you to be able to go on Facebook and find a good deal right away. What I don't always do the best job at showing in these videos is that you do need to be checking Facebook pretty frequently throughout the day. I recommend at least once an hour. It only takes a couple minutes to check pretty much every single phone once you've actually searched them before. And you could still do this while you're going about your regular day. You could do it while you're at the gym. You could do it while you're at work. Whatever you still have to do throughout the day, you could still look for phones while you're doing that. Of course, this time around, we ended up finding three profitable phones pretty much immediately after we checked Facebook. We found this iPhone 13 that we were able to get for $400, which should sell for $600. We also found this iPhone 12 that was listed for $350 that we we're actually able to get down to $250, which we should be able to sell for around $350 to $400. As as well as we also found this iPhone SE 2020 for $75, which we should be able to sell for around $150 to maybe $170. People always ask how you avoid getting scammed and you typically just test the phone before you purchase it and you check the device's IMEI number to make sure that it's not lost or stolen. I've gotten thousands of phones and never been scammed once I actually test the phone and make sure everything works. Once we got back with the phones, I went ahead and took some good quality pictures of them and then got them listed on eBay. I personally recommend using eBay when it comes to selling the phones just because it is the simplest option and it does save you quite a bit of time from having to negotiate with people or set up meetups and deal with people flaking and everything that comes along with Facebook Marketplace. But based on the price points you're buying phones at, you absolutely can still sell on Facebook or a local platform if you don't want to use eBay. Our iPhone SE as well as our iPhone 12 did just sell on eBay. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys packed up and shipped out. Unfortunately, we still have to wait for our iPhone 13 to sell before we could go over the total profit. All right, so all of our phones have sold and it is time to go ahead and take a look at the numbers. 
So as far as how long it took, from the time we bought the phones and got them listed, it took us about seven days to have all of our phones sold, which is pretty typical. And I know that may seem like a long time, but you gotta keep in mind that if you're actually doing this business properly and you have the funding to keep buying phones, while you were waiting for these phones to sell, you would also be out buying more phones and you'd kind of have a constant flow of inventory so that while you're waiting for these phones to sell, you would have still been out buying phones every day. And you'd have just constantly been in a flow of buying new phones and having phones from the week before selling. As far as how much time it actually took to get these three phones and to sell them, by far, the part that took the longest amount of time is actually going out and picking up the phones, which in this case, we were able to do the entire process in one trip. So it took us about an hour and a half to go out and buy all the phones, which definitely is pretty standard. And it's fairly common that you're able to set up all your pickups for the day within one time window. So it's fairly typical for it to take anywhere from an hour to maybe two, even two or three hours, depending on how many phones you're actually going out to pick up. Then for everything else, like the time it took to go ahead and find the phones, get them listed, and actually ship them out and drop them off at the post office, I'm adding about an hour and a half for all that miscellaneous stuff, which to be honest, it was probably a little bit less than that, but I'd rather round up to be safe. So all in all, the entire process, all the way from going out to find the phones and picking them up to actually listing them and getting them shipped out, worked out to about three hours of actual work. All right, so now on to the actual expenses we incurred to buy the phones. Obviously, the largest expense it took to do this was actually the money it took to go ahead and buy the phones, which in this case cost us $725 for all three of the phones we purchased. The next expense that we incurred is the cost of chargers and the shipping supplies, both of which are actually very inexpensive. I buy my chargers to about $6 for the set and the slower charger charger that we shipped out with the iPhone SE was about $2 total. But if you go on Alibaba and you buy more than like 20 pieces, you could readily find them at that price point. And obviously the more you order, the cheaper that's gonna be. Honestly, I often even see them on Facebook Marketplace from people who resell them for a little bit more expensive, but then you don't have to go ahead and buy them in bulk. So it could be maybe five to $8 for those chargers. And then as far as shipping supplies, I buy mine in bulk. So the boxes I ship them out with, as well as a bubble wrap, worked out to roughly a dollar per phone, which price might be slightly higher if you have to buy them individually at somewhere like Staples. And then finally, we have the most common one people complain about and seem to think that I'm missing in my videos, which just as an aside, I have to say how funny it is how often I make a video where I literally in one week will make like $4,000 in profit. And then someone will still comment saying that I forgot to account for gas and that this isn't worth it because of the cost of gas. I don't know how much gas is where you guys are, but it's not that big of an expense. That being said, I did track my distance and do a calculation on what gas would cost. I drive a Tesla, so it didn't actually cost me anything. The cost was like very, very low, but because I know someone's going to comment it and I know someone's going to say that they drive some super non-fuel efficient car, I went ahead and calculated the cost of gas, assuming that we were driving a 2004 Hummer H1, which I promise you, your car doesn't use more gas than a 2004 Hummer H1, which based on the average fuel cost in North America means that for the total driving we did in this video to pick up the phones, it would have cost us $12.43 in gas. All right, now for the fun part, let's go ahead and take a look at how much money we actually made. In total, we sold all three phones for a total of $1,117, but eBay does charge some fees. So after all of eBay fees, that did leave us with $998, which is actually how much money we got. We did charge the buyer's shipping, so th that's separate from the cost of shipping. $998 is exactly how much we got after eBay's fees and every single expense associated with this video. And then we go ahead and deduct all the expenses we just went over. That leaves us with a total profit of $246.57. All for about three hours of work. That being said, I did just finish filming a series and post it on my channel where I literally turned $1,000 into $10,000 using this business model. So if you want to see it in action and you want to see what it looks like at scale, go ahead and click any of these four videos. I recommend starting with the first one and you could give that series a watch.